Hello, Fluff Tube. It is today is Saturday, July. I don't know what twenty. What do you think? Twenty seventh. Um, as a matter of fact, I can check real quick. Let me check my calendar as time is safe. I say, please hold. It is Saturday, July twenty eighth. Uh, something like that. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong place. Yes, Saturday, July 28th. Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, this is update number 20. Uh, and I have another finish. Um, I just want to get into it right away. Uh, this is going to be probably short, pretty short. And not that much to talk about. Well, before I show my finish, I want to show what I, my, my project back from Evertote. I bought the Mo the Chameleon. This is my first ever project bag, and I'm very happy. I'm, I just love it to death. It came with this little zipper pull thing that says joy on it that was very unexpected i didn't uh, i knew i knew about the bag and the notions tote and the uh needle winder that came with it but um i didn't know it would have this little cute little zipper pull thing which is very cute i might put a bigger zipper pull on here and put this uh somewhere else maybe on the notions tote uh zipper instead but it's it's very cute um, so yeah, so this is great. And, you know, I, I use a, the, uh, I use a hoop to, uh, stitch in and the biggest hoop I use is eight inches. That's pretty big. It's considering. And, uh, and it fits very nicely in here, um, with, uh, room to spare. So it's, it's great. And I'm trying to keep the cat hair, uh, on it, uh, to a minimum but it also came with I'm going to just take it off of here a needle winder in, in the same green uh, reptile fabric oh, it's very nice very nice so Caroline thank you very much very nicely done very nice um, so, I said I have a finish, sweet marmalade that I've been working on. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Upside down. Sweet marmalade. This is such a cute design. I am so, just so in love with it. Um, and I finally finished it. Uh, I did all the berries. Uh, and I even put, I did, uh, do a slight modification of this eight. It was very basic. It was like, like one, uh, just this block and one block and one block. And then like, I think two on the sides here. So it was smaller. So I made it a little bit, a little bit elongated this way, just to take up the space because when, uh, in the original, there's a, it was done in 2015, and the five here is um, a little bit fancier than the, the, the little five they give you in the, in the chart. They have an ABC chart and a one, and a numeric chart uh, to personalize it. It's very basic. So I, I did make a little ad adaptation to the eight uh, to make it look a little, a little fancier. And then I did my initials. And when I was looking at the, at the, um, at the model, it looks like they did, like, like she did her initials in the same color as the, as the vine or something. And, and maybe did the, these numbers looked like the same color as the berries and the, and then, uh, her initials look lighter, like the color of the vine. <clears throat> and I didn't really pay attention to that. I just thought I would use a berry color. And 
and uh, I went ahead and used the berry color for my initials. So, <laughs> and but anyway, uh, so this I think this is the first time I ever personalized anything that I made. Everything else, you know, I even the you know the stuff I made as gifts, stuff I made, I just never bothered to put and to sign it in any way. But uh, so, but I went ahead and did this. So it's so uh, I just like it. So like I said before, um, this is done on twenty eight count, even if it's a light blue color. I don't know if it's it looks white ish uh, on the video. But, um, and it called, the, the original called for gentle art threads, um, and I did a DMC conversion, except for the vine, um, it, the, the gentle art thread color was green tea leaf, and there, I couldn't, I, you know, the conversion of the list that I had didn't list anything for that color. So I just chose a color, and the color that I chose, the DMC color that I chose, was a little dark. It was almost the same shade as the berries. It was greenish, but it was uh, close to this uh, purple color of the berries. And so I just chose another color uh, to uh, to be the vine. And it was almost the same color as the letters, but slightly different. But anyway, it looks very much like uh, the color that they used uh, here on the model. Because in the uh, because this model stitch, if you look at the 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 vine and the lettering are almost the same color there as well. So so in the end, yeah, it, it it was all right. It was fine. But then I did, like I said before, I did modify the sword mouse and berry and sweet marmalade. I used the berry color uh, for theirs to make those words stand out. Uh, and I almost did tiny that way also. This tiny mouse, but I didn't. Um, so it's all done. And don't hold your breath waiting for an FFO because I found that I'm kind of not notorious about saying, well, those are my plans, and then not doing anything. So don't let anybody hold their breath. I don't want to be responsible for you turning blue while you're waiting for me to FFO that. Hmm. So now, um, I have, I'm working back on, on my uh, design for Come Back Mount. And I didn't get a whole lot done, or I should say I did a lot, but it just uh, really started on Friday because, because Sweet Marmalade, I finished it on Thursday. No, no. Yeah. I don't know when I finished it. Let's see. Probably third thing. I posted it somewhere on 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 uh, the Friday at the Goo group and on um and I think on Instagram also and um, so yeah when I finished it so I don't know but anyway so it, actually when I was when I saw it I was really close to the end I got a wild hair um, and and. <laughs> I stayed up off and on pretty much all night um, working on some design changes uh, for Come Back Mount. Mostly um, making some design elements larger because I, I have a tendency to sort of miniaturize everything, work very, very tiny, and I made them a little bit larger so they would, because I had more space available, you know, it was just like... Um, like, um, this is my designer, and like this Ebenezer thing, here I raised my Ebenezer. Ebenezer was just, um, what they called, uh, um, like an altar, uh, of stones that they did. So I just made something similar. And originally this was, you know, it was smaller than that. But I thought, well, what the heck, I have all this room. It was like, you know probably half the size and I have excuse me all this room so I put 
and made it a little larger. So some of the other designs that are coming up that I still haven't done are a little bit larger and uh, so I'm, I'm doing things as I go along and I'm still doggone it. I'm still working on this water and um, I have a tendency to do, I guess it's, is it the English? I don't know, the English, the Danish method, method I forget which was which. One version is doing each, you know, one stitch at a time and the other one is doing, you know, one one leg of the stitch, you know, and then coming back and doing the other leg. So I've always done it, you know, out. I call it out and back because it's easier to remember that way. I've always done out and back stitching and that was kind of what I was doing here and I thought, oh my God, it's, it's so tedious to go, to go all the way back and then, you know, and come back and then go all the way out and come back. And especially for something as long as this. So, so I was just past the halfway mark and, um, starting on this end, this leg and I just did, I just decided to do it one stitch, at, one stitch at a time. So I'm going to go all the way over, finish that way. And then I'll, uh, work on the last two rows together because it's, you know, a partial row and in what you work together so I can do that as I come back and then I'll be done with that that part of the of the border or the in between I should say in between the two verses I still haven't done the rest of the this is the second verse so the rest of the second verse goes here and the third verse goes down here and the first verse goes up here so it's a, a big big uh, stitch and this is my first time really using linen and I you know I don't mind it so much it's it's uh, pretty small uh, and and the the schlub it is very schlubby there's a, you know one there and and it's they're kind of hard to count around in some places um, you know because it does make the thread and some threads are very skinny and some threads are very fat. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it can be hard to work with, it, it, you know, and it just, it's, uh, it's better to have really good light to work with it. Um, and I think I have misspoken before, so I found the bag and uh, so that I would not make the same mistake, but it's 32 count. Um, I think I'm, I, uh, on one of the videos I said 28 count or whatever, but it's 32 count. Um, uh, this is Belgium linen. So, by MCG Textiles. Um, and so, yeah, so that's what I'm working on right now. I still have, as I mentioned before, I have my daily walk in the woods and piano cat. So, waiting in the wings so it's easy for me to just concentrate on one project at a time so um so i did some uh like i said i did just some design work on uh, other elements and you know what's hard for me uh, is i'm not a very um i i'm very locked into the 10 by 10 square and making everything even and stuff like that um i'm sort of an even number person um, my sisters, uh, tease me about the fact that like, like if I get ice for my drink, if I'm getting ice cubes and putting them in, in a cup or whatever, um, I'll get eight. I'll get even numbers. I'll get eight. I'll get 16. I'll get four. Something like that. If somebody offers me M&Ms or sunflower seeds or Reese's Pieces, something like that, that comes in, you know, individual things, I'll get two at a time. Or, you know, two, four, six, something like that. So I'm a little bit, not not exactly, I, 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 I hate to use the term OCD because I don't want to negate people who are, who really have OCD issues and, and um, you know, where it interferes with your life. Um, because if somebody else, you know, gives me a cup of ice and doesn't have even, an even number of ice people, cubicles, I'm not going to count it to make sure that they are. But I just, you know, first of all, I just prefer, I just like even numbers. And I know that that's something that actually I started probably, probably in 
when I was in elementary school. And, you know, that sort of thing. But anyway, so so when I when I was, you know, working on uh, my design, uh, you know, I would find myself working within, you know, this block of tin or whatever and using that as my uh, my design guide and and that can be kind of confining you know this you know that's why the the water and the grass ended up the way they did because I was using that 10 by 10 grid you know to decide where to put things or whatever and it can be helpful but it can also be you know for me confining in that I can't think outside I can't think literally outside the box but um so yeah so you know things have to be centered things have to be even thing you know and and it's a little hard for me to 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 visualize it outside of that because you know theoretically I can make it as longer you know as wider as long as I want um and it's not really dependent on the the ten by ten box, but you know when it comes to the design idea, and yet it, that confines me a little bit. If if the ten by ten grid wasn't on there, you know maybe I would I would think of it differently. I don't know, but it's there, and it's you know it's a nice guide to use. But it I, I tend to use that like I said to confine me a little bit but anyway so I worked on the you know on some design elements of this vine issue and, and uh, making this heart I had designed it a little, uh, again very small so I made it bigger and and I this is <laughs> Jesus <laughs> and I made him a little bigger and you know things like that so so uh, yeah I uh, so I worked on that you know, probably Wednesday night, something like that. Um, before I know is just before I finished Sweet Marmalade, I was getting getting ideas. I've got an idea forming in my brain. Anyway, <laughs> a few people get that reference. A few people might might get that reference. Anyway, so I worked on uh, some elements of the design. Uh, that I was working on, and so I've got, so I'm, I'm back to working on this again. Um, I think that's all I've got right now. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all I have today. Um, so, uh, I don't think I even said who I was at the beginning. Elizabeth Martinez. Fanta stitches, um, uh, and I I'm gonna try to put the I didn't put this in the description box uh, below and I guess I I should of I, I I don't know if I could put links in there when I'm off my tablet because of I have I'm sort of confined and I'm also uh, by, by my tablet and I'm also um, not very tech savvy. On my tablet, what's available on my tablet, and I know it's different um, than what is uh, what I'm able to do on my big computer. But my big computer uh, has internet issues right now, so it's had ongoing internet issues, and and I don't know how to solve them. Um, I don't know, but anyway, um, I'm gonna try to put uh, my Instagram name at least and um, on uh, in the description box uh, and um, so that you can find me a little more easily um, yeah I realized in the, my last video I spelled out my name but I didn't put it in the description box uh, even if I don't put a direct link, if I, if I write it out, it's a little easier to find uh, an Instagram that way. And, uh, yeah, anyway. So, thank you to my returning subscribers. I, I just checked and I have about 74 
right now, which is nice. And um, uh, welcome to any new new people uh, viewing the video. And um, I hope to see you again next time, uh, next week. Uh, until then, stitch all the things, have fun, have a good day. Oh, sorry. <laughs> have a good time. Um, and like I said, I'll try to put Fantagray, which is my Instagram name. You can find me on fi Friday Off The Grid as well uh, as this channel and, and under Elizabeth Martinez. Um, YouTube, if you... Uh, uh, I'm going to try to put the... I can put... The, I've learned how to put the link to YouTube in Friday Off The Grid. So, anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks. Bye.